Goodbye. Get out of there. Getting ready to go. This is gonna be the sportiest surf launch I've attempted. They're small waves, but they're really close together. It probably looks super calm on video. Right now it would be fine, but there's some bigger sets coming through every now and then that are two foot waves. And two foot waves at four seconds are not that great from the kayak trying to surf launch. So uh, gonna get going here in a second. Just a tad longer. Gonna let this one go. Gonna let this one go. All right, looking good right now, as long as none of these stack up in front of me. That one's gonna be interesting. Okay, we're good. We're good. Hell yeah, going fishing. Okay, as you can see, the swell is stacked pretty close together today, but it's a beautiful day. It's not blowing at all. It's, it's like one foot at four seconds or something. So I wasn't sure about the launch. You see this one's, you know, they're close together, but I think once I get out a little ways, I'll be, I'll be sitting pretty. Just getting out here on the ocean to do some fishing. I got the kayak out today gonna see what all is hanging out on some structure out here today bonito fever has not taken over yet i don't think it's far out from happening the water temps are like it could happen today maybe not but i brought a bunch of uh, crabs with me too and my plan is to mostly just fish with the crabs on the structure i'm hoping there's still some tog around i'm hoping they haven't left yet i should catch sheep's head i don't know if black drum and red drum will be out here but should be all kinds of critters could be some black sea bass and I'm going to keep my eyes peeled both on the sonar and on the surface for some bonito activity. There's been some very light reports of bonito getting out here to where I'm going fishing. And I will catch up with you soon. We'll try it. See what our drift is going to be like. drop in North Carolina with a metal jig and catch a flounder. There he is, little guy. All right, we're marking some bait here. Let's see what we can do here. Big structure might just get snagged. We'll find out. Grouper or a tog on a jig. No way! Wow, that wasn't supposed to happen. Wow, he had me in the structure. Um, there must be a few of them down there if he was willing to bite a, <laughs> a vertical jig. But hell yeah, that's cool right there. And we will be keeping him. Yeah, most states have a regulation on TOG. This one's probably 14, 15 inches. They are completely unregulated in North Carolina, the state with horrible regulations. 
loosened it or too tight, but tog are unregulated, I guess, since they're mostly just a winter visitor. All right, let's get him in the cooler. It's gonna be kind of tricky in the outback, but I gotta spin around and get him on ice because we do not want to tip over out here. I brought a big cooler because if I get into some togs, I'm not letting them go. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. I'm gonna bleed him inside the kayak, not in the water, because bleeding stuff in the water just seems like a bad idea. Out in the ocean in a kayak. Okay, so first drop of the day was a small flounder. And then I made two or three more drops, moved to another spot, and I just got a tog on a jig, which is not normal, uh, on a metal jig, rather. And so I'm gonna probably get some crabs out, not gonna lie. I feel like that's probably what I should do. Okay, getting back onto the structure here, marking it. I'm gonna try to get up to the same place that I was at when I hooked that fish. Hard to, hard to really know exactly where I'm at but hopefully there's enough enough tog down there to make life easy fishing 30 pound test fluorocarbon leader which may prove to be a little light but we're starting with that i've got some 50 um, and a heavier i've got 50 pound braid on another rod with 50 pound fluoro if need be oh i'm already getting bit oh that was a nice fish Oh, I think this is going to be good fishing. I'm glad I have a lot of bait. Still got my crab. Let's go back down. Ooh, that was a, that was a heavy fish. Yep, we're on again. My goodness gracious. Oh my gosh, there's so many fish here. Oh, this is going to be a good day. I wonder if they're sheep's head or if they're togs. Let's get a crab down there quick. I'm glad I have a lot of bait. <laughs> now I kind of feel like it might not be enough. There we go, here we go, good bite. Oh man, probably got my bait. It might be small sheep's head. Yeah, no bait. Well, there's some bites to be had. Okay, dropping down. I think I'm still gonna be in the structure here. Might kind of be on the edge. Oh, good bite. Big fish. Big fish. No! Come on. Dang it. Dang it. That was nice. It was either a black drum or a sheep's head, I think. Okay. On the structure again. This looks like where I need to be. This looks like what I was marking when I, I'm gonna try to spin the boat around a little bit. Get a little better angle on this because I'm probably gonna get a bite. Yep, getting a bite. Getting a bite. Decent bite. Nope, dropped them again. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. All right, 
I've finally identified where the best part of this structure I'm fishing is. I think it's right here. Um, let's see what we got here. Yeah, I keep losing all the fish, so that's unfortunate. Getting a bite. Definitely getting a bite. Okay, I'm definitely in it now. Way down in it. Yep, and we're bit. He's got me in it. Come out. Come out of there. Come out of there. Come out of there. All right, I got him out. What's it gonna be? Nice sheep set. <clears throat> yeah, I think there's a absolute wad of these things here. That's a real nice one. It's a good 18 or so inches. 17, 18, somewhere in there. I'm gonna keep him as well. Get off of here for that process though, but you saw me put the tog in, so you know how it goes. So not that the jigs don't work, because clearly they're working, but I'm gonna just put on a dropper rig with a, a two ounce weight so I can get down there a little faster. Um, I, might, I might go to a three because the bite is really good and I, I can get bit as soon as I get down there, but takes a long time for my bait to make it down to the bottom right now so I'm just gonna put a hook on here go old school with the dropper rig but yeah I would want like a two ounce jig for this if I was anchored it's probably a more effective way to catch them um, especially if they're a little finicky but they are not finicky right now so I'm not really worried about that <clears throat> pinch one claw off put him on here two ot hook just a octopus hook pretty standard and there's the rig but I went ahead and jumped up to um, 50 pound leader because that last fish had me in the stuff so you can see my leader goes all the way down here to my reel almost and that's to give me some forgiveness for if I have a fish rubbing me in the structure because that definitely definitely happened last time we'll try a drop right here yeah no crab Another one, not a bad one. I got some boats around now, so I'm not talking as much, but <clears throat> yeah, nice one.
come out of there. Come out of there. It's a nice one. That's a big fish. What do we got? Is this a black drum? Oh my god, I think it's a huge sheep's head. Oh, it's big. Yeah, it's a great big one. Holy cow. Oh yeah. That's a big sheep's head there. That one's gonna go size large. There you go. There you go. I guarantee you he's seven, eight pounds. It's a very nice fish. On the jawbreaker, I keep my voice down because there's a bunch of boats. Not that they can't see me catching these fish, but. For some reason, I lost my audio on this clip, but I just, you know, put another crab on, drop back down into that structure, getting a bite, got him, fighting him, nothing crazy. Uh, this was a smaller one, much smaller than that last fish that I caught. That last fish, I actually ended up weighing it later, and it was eight and a half pounds, a little over eight and a half pounds, which is a citation sheep's head in North Carolina, a pretty respectable fish. It's a nice one. Cool. Not a great big one, but I got one of the boat. It's a pretty good one. 16, 17, somewhere in there. He's hooked well, too. Let's see what I got here. Honestly, I'm gonna have to get that out later because he's hooked so well. I gotta retie anyway. <clears throat> Doing a little update, I'll stick this somewhere in the video because I didn't talk a whole lot when those boats were around me, but I'm just out here um, dropping crabs on the structure. I haven't seen any marks that make me want to jig a spoon very much. Doesn't seem like there's many gray trout around. Haven't seen any marks looking like bonito. No surface activity, not marking a lot of bait, but luckily you have those 
fish that uh, hang out on the structure and feed on crustaceans like the sheep's head, the tog. I haven't caught a black drum, but kind of anticipating that I might catch one before it's over with. But just gonna keep kind of meandering around, looking for different pieces of structure, dropping on them, seeing what's holding on each piece, and then just keeping on moving around and testing the waters. See if we can quickly get back down there. Usually by the time I get baited up, I'm already off the structure. Yep. Yep. Got a range position. Whoa. Feels like a small fish still. We'll find out what he is. Yeah, small sheep's head. Let that one go. Got one though. Woo. Send a big grab down there this time. Fish. No, he's not big, but he's nice. Did I get my net in time? If he'll stay hooked. Nice. We'll take that one. We will take that one. Not a great big one, but good enough. Six, 16, I don't know. I'm not measuring these fish just because it's a lot to do out in the uh, ocean in some swell. But yeah, that hook got him pretty well. Sorry, that hook got him pretty well. And uh, take that hook out. There's a bite. Decent little fish here. Nothing crazy. Feels like a, probably a sheep's head. Yeah, small one. I might need to move back to where I started. Because that is not why you go fishing in the ocean. So I've given those fish that I started on a little bit of a break. And uh, I'm starting to actually run kind of low on crabs. So I'm going to go ahead and rig this one up. I've gone ahead and gone to the 50 pound test on my bait caster. 50 pound braid, 50 pound leader. Um, maybe not quite as good for getting bites, but there were some really, really big fish on that spot that I started on. So we're going to see if we can find another one of those ones. Now that they've had some time to rest, maybe they're getting a little more bitey. Um, when I was over there not too long ago before I left it, it definitely started to slow down from when I first fished it. So maybe they will have changed their mind. Come on, fish. Anyway, I, I'll call you later when I get finished up. Ooh, 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 getting bit, getting bit. Feels like small right. fish, though. Sounds good. Oh, wait, I'm hooked up. Could it be my tog? Ewing, it feels like a tog. Feeling very togish. Oh, it's looking sheep's head-ish. Uh, all right well i'll talk to you yeah i'll call you when i get off the water all right sounds great see ya Later.
was on the phone with my little brother and just landed another one not a bad one not a not a great one but certainly a respectable fish there we go probably i don't know it's decent 16 inches or so 15 16 somewhere in there get him in the cooler that's number six stay in there number six there's our ice good to go get the other half of this crab rigged up see how long he lasts I bet not long I had a fish. I got a nice fish on here. He really had me in the structure too. Let's see if we get him. Oh yeah, nice. Man, he had me in the stuff. In the stuff is where he was. That's why we got that 50 pound leader on there. That's a good one. Skinny, I would assume probably a male sheep's head because of his build. It seems like you catch them like this fairly often. You'll catch sheep's head that look really old and they got big, big face, big head, big fins, but the rest of the body not, not looking ideal. Another magnum stone here. <laughs> stone. Another, another magnum mud crab here. Gonna cut him down the middle like I did with that last one. Oh, lost the claw on that one piece, but got it on the other. When I just have half, I like to leave that claw on there. I feel like it helps a little having something on there that's hard for them to chew through because it just becomes a very, very soft bait once you. Uh, Chop it like that. Oh, wow. Something had me on the fall. That's a good sign. Get this other half of this crab on here. Definitely a good sign. Hmm, this, this bait is not gonna hold on here well, but that's what we got, so we're gonna try it. Dropping pretty close to the same spot. Imagining this will be a pretty quick bite. Yep. Mm -hmm. I didn't get a good enough hook set on him. Caught me off guard. Wow, they're biting here. Did he already get my crab? I think he did, that quick.
doesn't really seem like it matters where I drop on this piece. It's, it's pretty loaded with fish. They don't seem to be very big like the first spot that I started on, but I'm getting bites really quick. Yeah, one caught it on the drop. Oh my. Ugh. He was around something. He grabbed it and swam in into the structure. So I guess my hook set was, yeah, I feel it's chafed up. My hook set was probably at an angle. That's why I pulled him off. Okay. Another crab on. Going back to the very fired up school here. I mean, it's, yeah, they're going crazy on this spot. So you can see a couple marks. I don't know if those are sheep's head marks. Um, this is a new fish finder for me, so I don't quite know yet what everything looks like, how it shows up on this one compared to the one that I'm used to using. But I also know that typically I have not been able to see them when I'm fishing structure like this. Oh my gosh, they're catching it on the drop. He's got it. Oh, he let it go. He let it go. And they're catching it on the way down. Hooked up in the structure. In the structure. Coming up. Doesn't feel too big. Feels decent though. Oh, he's he's giving me some fight. Okay, yeah, that's a nice fish. That's gonna be a nice fish. Wow. That's an angry one there. He's smaller than the last one I got, but man, he was mad. Whew. Good fishing out here today. Good fishing and pretty weather. Can't ask for much more than that. That's another nice one. Loving it. Loving the action. I think that's number eight. Yeah, I'm digging the uh, heavier setup out here with the heavier line. I feel a lot more comfortable. I was kind of worried about being able to feel the bites the same just because this setup isn't quite as sensitive as that other one I have. Um, with it being deeper water, around a bridge, you're usually so close to the fish, it doesn't really matter. I feel a lot better, a lot better suited this way. That's a big one. Oh yeah, he's big. He's big. He's big. Oh yeah, it's like the last one. Another big one. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> Yeah, that's a big sheep's head. I mean, those two today, I've only, since I've moved down here, I've only caught, uh, I think, one other fish as far as this caliber of sheep's head. Let's catch them up at Oregon Inlet this size a good bit, but not down here. Not, not in the summer when I moved in anyway. coming. 
not a very big one. He was in the stuff. Small fish, actually. Yeah, I'm putting that one back. He was in some stuff, though. Woo! But that's because I drifted off of it. And I'd already dropped my jig. <clears throat> okay. This is a good cast. Yep, he's already got it. Oh, I never even felt a head shake out of him. Might have had him foul hooked. That might have been why he felt like that. Felt heavy, I know that. You know it's nearing the end of the day when two tiny crabs are on the same jig. I overshot the Getting a bite. Get out of there. Get out of there. Got him out. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Feels like a sheep's head to me. Feels like a big sheep's head to me. Yep, that's a grown one. Holy cow. That is the first time. Oh, never mind. I thought I thought he had swallowed the jig, but you can see the hooks coming out of the corner of his mouth there. He's, he's still got that thing pretty good. Man, that's a nice fish. Woo! That's a nice one there. There he is. Chewing on it, chewing on it. He's got it. Not a big one. A nice one though. I've done far worse. There's been days I would love to catch that fish. Wow, did he get, he get barrow trauma? No way. Go back down, dude. I got my limits. I can't keep him. He's floating. I can go back down. Did that really pull him up that quick? I guess maybe. I've never seen a sheep's head do that. Of course, I normally don't catch them in very deep water. <clears throat> Come on, bud. I know you can survive. There we go. Sometimes you just gotta punch a fish in the side of the head and wake them up. That is a, a deep water crappy technique. You give them a little bump, and they'll wake up and bolt back down. Sometimes it kind of stuns them, bringing them up from deep water. Getting a good bite. Did he clean me out? No, he's got it. Fish on. He hadn't really started fighting yet. Oh, there he goes. Another nice one. That's good fishing right there. Okay, as you've noticed, I am keeping fish today, but I have my 10 sheep's head limit. So that's a pretty nice one. Going home.
a nice one. Yeah, maybe not that nice. Oh, that's a good one though. I gotta put him back. Woo wee! <laughs> They're biting. There's a bite. Come out of there, fish. Got him up. Feels like a sheep's head though, not a tog. So I'm not crazy excited about it. Yeah, it's a sheep's head. Another nice sheep's head. wasn't coming off. It's a nice one. There it goes. Whoa, good bite there. Doesn't feel like a good fish though. Feels like a small fish. What's up with that? Small guy. He's real dark. That's a cool looking fish. See how he's got, his face is like all dark. I've never seen one like that before. I don't know if that's spawning colors. I know they spawn in the springtime, so now is getting close. I don't know if sheep's head change color when they spawn or not, but that might be the last one. I got a few more baits, but if that's it, that's it. And I hope you enjoyed watching. I've had a ball out here today, enjoying the beautiful ocean and catching some fish.